I know, I know. And then under Capitol. Um, in, um, Sorry, we were just recapping. Brittany Broski was seen at the Capitol yes, on yes. November. Yeah, was it in November insurrection? Six, January uh, 6th. Was, November. It was right after the inauguration. Yeah, January 6th. Sixth. Brittany, yeah. was it you in the the wolf, the hooded? No, she had oh, the, the she lady served. Viking and then the, the yellow M&M costume and yes. then the lady Viking hat <laughs> yes. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And six inch Gene Simmons platform boots. Yeah, yeah. And she was seen in Nancy Pelosi's personal bathroom wiping her ass with uh, seven inch acrylics that Yo. couldn't do it, couldn't do it. So Yo. she dumped her ass, dunked her ass in the toilet water. Yes. And that's how she was caught. And that's Work. how you use a bidet. <laughs> hey. We have somebody who's honestly, if we're, Truly, honestly, honestly, sincerely. You want to talk an actual beauty icon? Uh-huh. A woman who is not afraid to invoke the smoke and mirrors of yeah. hair and ma- hair and makeup yeah. cosmeceuticals. Yeah. <laughs> when does she get here? I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> who is she? <laughs> also, she she's actually my neighbor. Yeah. And so Walked here. we say that cool. me, her, and Sarah Shower are a content house now. Oh my god, you're like a TikTok house, a dick doc house. A dick doc house. That nobody had asked for it. Not a single person was like, we need that to happen. <laughs> well, Monique, Monique Hart used to live on this block too, and then we would have really been a house. Mm. Or a content um corner or a uh, block. Con- yeah, it's a content corner. Content That's what they block. call it. Yeah, yeah. Truly. <laughs> I I recently did a little bit of a uh well, I just learned about TikTok houses and stuff. And in Russia they have them as well. Mm-hmm. And there's one called the Dream Team. And I I I felt so I, I felt like that thing where you like you know just without a shadow of doubt like oh you're old and there's no going yeah, back yeah. you know what I mean it's like when you can't understand the y'all language know that of the youngest very well yeah <laughs> now y'all understand I'm, that no, very listen, well I don't know if being nice but he's like it's never happened to me yeah, yeah. oh my god no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm letting you know because I'm 42 years old I'm not ashamed of it and I I just I really like I've made peace with the fact that I won't ever live in a TikTok house. And that's okay. Do Are you, you okay? Want to? I'm looking for my water. Sorry. Oh, I'm having a little strokelet over here. Don't mind me. <laughs> I, I was a it, strokelet. That's a, a mini stroke. Stroke. It's like a brankslet. <laughs> um, a, a brankslet. A brankslet. I, no, I'm having a stroke. Oh, oh my, my god. When I'm the only healthy one here, that's when you know the r- shit has really hit the fan. <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> we got sound effects, sis. You want to try one? I would love to try one. Oh. <laughs> No, that's too much. We didn't plan that. What if every time you hit it, it was something really negative? <laughs> and every time we racial did it, epithet. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh Look at you with them to, nails. You, you, speaking of TikTok, you know, Brittany has been to the TikTok headquarters. I don't. Ooh. What, what is it? Is there is it like a? It's what? just a bunch of like disgruntled twenty somethings in an office in Santa Monica. Do they, do they, I imagine it's just like a, a like a um, very modernist building with a giant plasma a screen of Anthony Hopkins going TikTok TikTok TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. that's what it is in my mind. Y'all are coming on my TikTok, calling, calling me daddy. <laughs> I hate you. You're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give Can me three hundred dollars. Give me now. Give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> Can we talk about celebrities on TikTok? Let's we do are it. celebrities. Let's do it. You are. A celebrity on t- I would say you are your generation's um what would you, are you your generation's Julia Roberts? Tammy Faye Baker. <laughs> <laughs> well you got the lashes down. You, those are thank you. Those are You're your giant, generation's Kristen Chenoweth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Does YouTube pay for the TikTok house? No. Who pays the rent? You wanna know something? Um very, very much rivals. Um oh. when it comes to like social media platforms is like you can't really, you know, and we're urged in the TikTok podcast, I don't know if we can keep this in, to not talk about the other platforms because they want to yeah. see TikTok as not social media, but as a place to spread joy. It, it sounds like- It is. It is. When it's in the right hands, it is. Well, I think, okay. I mean, technology in itself is, you could argue, neutral. It's what, what it's used for. Sure. Right? Sure. Um, it's a tool for whatever evil you want to put it to. Hello. <laughs> it's a tool for whatever kind of evil yeah, fucking make it stupid choreography <laughs> you want to do. Yeah. For the people we run with, we could ruin any platform. Oh, yeah. We can Come make up. anything dark-sided. Yes. I would take okay. any tool and, and really, yeah. Oh, put it in the wrong hands. Uh, yeah. well, I hate to toot your horn, but you know, Brittany is the host of the official TikTok podcast. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are happy. They're lucky to have you because I do think everybody Thank likes you. you. Thank and you're, you. you're yeah, going to get all kinds of guests who maybe they have nothing in common, but their unifying thing is that they all like talking to you. Yeah. Oh, well, that's sweet, isn't it? <laughs> that's bless your heart. <laughs> or is it? Uh, or yeah, is we'll it? find out. 
That's like, what is that that, that's not be? a good one. That's like the morning radio. Kind that's of the that. Full House intro. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. You watch, you watch WandaVision? I don't, but okay, I do I watch The Mandalorian. And, and uh, did you find, have you learned that um, Sophie Anderson and uh, Rebecca Moore have released The Mandalorian? No, but I will be checking that out Me on too, yeah. Disney Channel. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The Mandaloporian. The Mandalor- <laughs> that is the best one. That is so good. The idea that, I mean, like, to could you imagine Amanda Lapor in a mask, can't see her face until only like 10 seconds at the la- at the end of the series, and the whole time you're like, hi, guys. You know what I mean? Like, yes, that is of course. so fucking funny. I imagine, like, her assistant showing her on the phone, like, look, they're doing this, and she looks at the Mandaloporian meme and goes, okay, but what is that? <laughs> It's on Disney. Oh, sounds great. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. The breastplate would be so big. You it, could clock her so uh, easy. So, yeah, yeah he's, he's the most clockable. <laughs> oh, my God. How are you enjoying podcasting? Podcasting is very fun, isn't it? This is like I'm living my Jimmy Fallon fantasy. And no drag. Yeah, which is sad. And you know what else, too? They know because, like, for the guest benefit, they book it at, like, 1030 a.m. Pacific time. Well, girl, I go to sleep at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So I have to, like, get up early for the podcast. Early. It's, like, 11 a.m. So I'm never in full beat. And it's a video. And I just feel I'm giving Owen Wilson everything. And it's just, like, I hate it. Giving adult, um, adult, uh, what's his name from the... <laughs> Freddie Prince Jr. No, <laughs> giving jo- Haley Joel Osment. Yes, oh, giving adult My Haley God. Joel Osment. Yes. Oh boy, with but this it's, mullet. It's fun because when you think of podcast, I mean, you know, the video aspect to it is definitely fun. But y'all don't do the video aspect. Okay, uh, it's correct, correct, stress. Me, correct me if I'm wrong, but a podcast is an audio file. It well, is, but they love uh, to watch. All the biggest people have made it a video. Uh, yes, I, I I realize this, but but, but I mean, we're in Mary, drag together fucking 10 times a week on the internet. People can just imagine what we look like. <laughs> Do you really forget by the time Tuesday comes around what like, we look like? I can't I can't absorb <laughs> this audio information unless I have a visual cue. What it, it's like, come on. Yeah. Do you like listening to stuff? Is that is it overrated now? I don't know. Well, I, I was going to ask. Sorry to interrupt you. So, but I was ahead. like, the TikTok is like so visual. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Talk about choreography? We talk about... <laughs> We talk about um, their experience on the app because it really is an interesting conversation depending on who you're talking to. I mean, if you're talking to, you know, Charlie D'Amelio, it's like, so you dance? Yeah, you do that a lot. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much to talk about. But when you go deeper into it of, um, you know, mentally, how has this affected you? Yeah. Like, what is it like having 100 million people comment on what you do every single second (sighs) of the day? That's a very interesting conversation. Yeah. Um, I've talked to... um, Derek Cuff. Hi, Derek Cuff. Oh, I just saw him. I just saw him on TikTok. Yeah. Doing the. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? No, it's not at all. <laughs> but I'm going to act like I do and I love it. I don't even know who Derek Cuff is. <laughs> Dancing with the stars. Right? Dancing with the stars? Now, y'all are supposed to be the pinnacle of pop culture. Ju- you know Julianne something Derek and Derek Cuff? Yeah. No, yeah. what yeah, I'm yeah. telling. We don't know any. Blonde male dancer. She knows a little more than me because she watches TV. Well, y'all have these obscure little references that fucking nobody clocks. I'm 50 years old, honey. I have a <laughs> lot of, like, you know what I mean? Come and on. I don't watch television. Sure. I don't either. So You and me watch what? 90 Day Fiance and what? L- literally. <laughs> excuse me. I don't, 90 excuse Day excuse Fiance. Me. Oh, I'm watching 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> but I don't watch TV. But that's, exactly. That, that's above that. <laughs> yeah. I've I, seen episode. I've seen seasons one through seven. It's not like I've seen them all. I do. <laughs> I've I, seen seasons one through seven. How many fucking fiancés are there, girl? Seven a lot, seasons. A lot. Damn. And you I, know what I like about it? It's formulaic and still new every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Tried That's and true. What I like about tried it. and true. Okay. It's like every uh, classic sitcom. Yeah, I love ninety. And you know why I started listening to it? Because all my all my favorite comedy people were always talking about. It. I was like, well, it must be funny if they like it. And it is crazy. Yeah. Amy Schumer is just like, I love 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> Everyone. Like, yes. yeah. It's like, have you been? Oh, I've just been watching 90 Day Fiance. How about you? And the other person's like, same. And yeah. I mean, that's people's whole podcast. Yeah. I mean, there's Nicole po- Byer. She loves it. A lot of people like I see it on I see it on Twitter. A lot of people love it. I, I've never seen it. I don't oh, like should reality I be shows. watching the Amanda Laporian. <laughs> yes, you should. It's fucking riveting. That's not even real. Oh, those people aren't. I hate <laughs> to break it to you. I hate to break it to you. Those people aren't real. <laughs> but let me tell you, Muhammad is real. <laughs> From 90 Day Fiance. Oh, I didn't know. It's like a random religion already. I know. Like we're bringing allies no. to this. Like, come on. I want to divorce <laughs> Muhammad. I love that show. Do they ever truly fall in love? Do you yes. believe it? Yes. Do you like The Bachelor? I've never seen it. <gasps> Do you like The Bachelor? I am. I've seen clips of it, and just enough to know about the fun. And I've I've read people's commentary, and I've and I've observed the the 
the craze around it. Mm -hmm. Like I am fascinated that people allow themselves to get swept up in something that is obviously so many levels of, of fake is not even the word. Yeah. It's like produced, but right. And like, I was like, okay, so I'm trying to grapple with is this, this is just on this, like for real people trying to get famous, right? For the most part. Yeah. I genuinely believe maybe this is cause I'm a woman and I love to romanticize things, you but it's very woman. much. And, I, and you can say it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. She is a woman. <laughs> Oh, that was the wrong button. That was not a joke. <laughs> Sorry, she's a woman. Oh, oh now that's the one. I, and even the button's pink. Oh yes. my God. I don't know why the joke was, she's a woman, drum hit. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah, that was, you know okay. what? You had your moment. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> what was Did I going to say? Did you get the clicks? Did you get the engagement? <laughs> is this all that you ever dreamt of? Was it worth it? Flop? Yeah, yes. Was it? Um, what I was going to say is yeah. um, it's so romanticized. I would like to think it's real. Okay. And Bachelor Nation is so, that's what it's called. Oh, wow. And I call my nation Broski Nation. Okay. Oh. Somebody hit the fucking. <laughs> Broski. <laughs> no, not that one. No, sorry. Broski Nation. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah, crack a few that. broskies and real, let's settle in. Yeah, for yeah. real. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I do think, I mean, because it's on television, none of it can truly be intimate and private and real. Sure. But I want to think so because they make it look so convincing. Yeah, I watched a lot of dating shows during lockdown. Um, I don't watch TV though. Well, no, no, he loves no, but in the beginning of lockdown, there's nothing to do. I had never seen Rock of Love, Flavor oh, of Love. Yeah, sure, sure. I love oh, New York. Yep. I'd never seen any of that. So yeah. I watched uh, Simple Life, never seen it. Top Model, never seen it. Oh, You'd yeah. never Top seen America's Model. I'd never seen, you guys, I was First not, seasons, incredible. In high school, I didn't have cable. Incredible. I didn't see any of this. So like incredible. watching it now, watching- He was sheltered. Well, it's funny. She was, on, I mean, we were on Drag Race. Drag Race for the first three, four seasons was a straight up parody of Top Model. Yeah, no idea. Yeah. Crazy. Watching Top Model now, I'm like, oh. I mean, now I'm like, oh, Drag Race is like this. Yeah. Yeah. Tyra, though, I mean, she, have you seen the Tyra Banks talk show? Yeah, bitch, when she's like- A uh, crazy the, person. The fake fading and the shit. The worst host of a television show <laughs> ever in the history of broadcast television. She was so bad. I mean, it, it is a, it is fascinating to watch. Yeah, and we can't, we can't judge people's- Let's just say that she did things on that show that didn't age well. I, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. I put yeah. on a fat suit. Now I know the plight of the overweight. Oh, girl. Or the homeless. I mean, it was it was wild. A burka? Also, yeah. And also. She did not. Yeah. Did she do a burka? And on her, the top model, when she would do these bits, when she fainted. Yes. And that, yeah. I got, who else was that scared? Bit. Yeah. Was anybody scared? <laughs> Me too. Me too. Yeah. So was I. Like, also, during the talk show, when she's having the fake seizure and she has uh, um foaming from the mouth and then she attacks an audience member it is i want to know i want to hear the producers of that because it's like yes. it is fucking crazy so gorgeous say though. what you want about tyra banks but you cannot say she's not entertaining oh no, no 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 i would she never know so much an entertainer yeah. through and through to her absolutely bones. And, an absolute star i i saw her at the american influencer award she was presenting after me and i just mm -hmm. turned around and i thought this is not a read she's so tall yeah. i thought she was a drag queen i thought yeah, it was yeah, another yeah. queen because i just saw her silhouette and i walked and i was like Okay, Tyra Banks. <laughs> she is so beautiful. Yeah, she's yeah. stunning. She's absolutely stunning. I'd never, I, and I watched, um, She there was a re sort of invigorated interest in the smize because of uh, the mask wearing during COVID. Yeah, yeah. And um, I truly cannot tell you that that it's actually a real thing. <laughs> I, I, I actually don't think it's real. Why like, are you I, squinting at me like yeah, that? Yeah, like I, all I you see can, is, yeah, it's the, I see no difference. You know, that's I mean, giving Jeffrey Dahmer like, everything. I, for me, there's well, this. Mama, future drag. And, and there's, <laughs> like, this is this. That's that's, my, that's that's there's a thumb up my butt. That's what you're for doing for the audio listeners. He's just raising his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but there it, it, she gets. She is it like very much uh, takes pride in ha having the credit for this uh, very nuanced and important kind of like facial um, revolution. Yeah, Can yeah. you do it, Brittany? It's just one of these. That's but a you squint. have to exactly. It's not a smile. So there's an other words for this. Yeah. So there's bug eyes, or no. there's squint, okay, girl. or there's winking. <laughs> She All said, right. come for my brand. I said, okay, okay. There's other words for this. Bug-eyed TikTok <laughs> bitch. Balding, a big foot, bald head. Oh my God. I introduced Katya to this thing that you showed me, which is um, just checking in. When you take your pictures. Oh, you love that. Oh, I did it the other day. I did it the other day. so good. I did it the other day. You couldn't see any of my face though. It was all Girl, you're not dome. doing it right. Yeah. We'll do one later. No, no, we'll, no. It was the right angle. Yeah. But this one will snatch. To distinguish like part of an upper pupil and then just mainly nose. <laughs> I love this it. one will snatch the hair back as far as it goes yeah. and have the frame start at the hairline. 
Yeah, you are so brave. Thank you so much. It's the courage. This is my story. How do you find the bravery to locate the courage to be so vulnerable? You want to know something? I just came from therapy, so let's get into this. Oh, yeah. I have to make fun is of myself. A four-hour chunk? Yeah, a quick six-hour. <laughs> hey, can you just rake it's out just today? It's just twice a day. It's four hours. <laughs> Do they have an um? Do they have a therapist like on location in the TikTok house? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's Sarah. She's outside Sarah Shower's door. Like anyway, me and Sarah are just been two, feeling very yeah, good. two patients <laughs> trying to like counsel each other. That's yeah. all that is. Oh it's God. mentally ill so hour. What, what they say at therapy, if you don't mind me asking. Well, it was just intro. Um, and but it was I very much explained. You know, like the reason why funny people are funny is because you have to make fun of yourself or you've gone through something in order to you know. That therefore is the gateway for people laughing at you or with you, question mark. We never know. So that's where it comes from is checking in. The forehead thing is so fucking funny because it looks stupid. But it's also <laughs> like I've been called a big forehead Tweety Bird bitch my whole life. <laughs> oh, your like drag that name. One. That is your drag <laughs> name. Big Tweety forehead Bird. Yeah. Tweety Bird bitch. The incomparable. <laughs> the legendary. Welcome to the stage. <laughs> She's your baby sister. She's our baby sister. She's everybody's baby sister. Welcome to the stage. The 11 dancing toads of the big headed Tweety Bird bitch. <laughs> Get out! Get out! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Intro Shania Twain. Bam, bam, yeah. bam, but you, I, you are very striking, though, and you. With, <laughs> yeah, when she when hits she's you. in the hair, yeah. the cause she's a cosmeceutical witch. Thank you, girl. Yes, Thank very you. good with the makeup. Very Sometimes. good with the makeup. Yeah. yeah. When I well, it's it's fun, isn't it? Because some people do it, it is, for. She doesn't like it. <laughs> it's a blast. <laughs> She's just trying to get to point A to point B. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy's been trying to quit drag for the last ten years. I have point yeah. A yeah. being yeah. Mr. Burns. Yeah. Point B <laughs> being Streetwalker. Yeah. Yeah. Susan Fucking Lucci. Tangerine yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but do you like you enjoy? Putting makeup on. I enjoy the process of putting makeup on and I love the transformation. You and I have talked about this before. We love oh, transforming thing. into a character. And it's very fun in that regard. But doing it every day as a career, I understand. I understand. And mm. I think about it all the time, how y'all do it. I don't know. Well, so, so for this, uh, for example, today, we're not filming this, obviously, but I have um, I have a little bit of um, psoriasis in, on my face. I'm in a gown. Uh, she's in a gown. Yeah, she's in a pageant and updo. I'm fully naked. She had me cover uh, psoriasis on her face before you got here. Yeah. So this morning, I I, I took a shower. I hadn't showered about three days. Ooh, and uh, so I took me. a shower, exfoliated, moisturized heavily, blah, 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 blah. And then I went into the makeup corner of my studio and I tried to cover this um, unsightly blemish that mm. indicates some level of like skin disease. Mm -hmm. And um, I couldn't do it. And I, I have a lot of experience with makeup. I've, I've been doing makeup for 10 years on yeah. my face. Couldn't do it. I came over here and this uh, this fucking ghoul and her uh, put <laughs> she puts the brush on and it and I think you can tell that it's still there. So I'm really dissatisfied. I can't <laughs> tell anything. Perfect. Where like here? See, oh, she, you yeah. Well, no, because exactly you pointed right here. here earlier. That's where I, I was I looking. I never pointed. Girl. I never pointed. <laughs> if we were really trying to hide it, I think Roll we would have done concealer on both sides. Also, I think you got to just put it everywhere. Right? No, you, I, I do it like bare minimals everywhere. Because right now, this cheek is really even, and this cheek looks like your normal skin. Right. So this Pock one's marked. more perfect. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This looks horrible. Yeah. <laughs> this side is just fucking gut. Rotted, decaying. Yes, horrible. Now, did you put those lashes on yourself, or are those professionally I did, applied? Well, no. When I This is strip lash. Strip oh, strip, it really? Yeah. Not yeah. She strips in those. It's, yeah. it's when I'm feeling like, well, because I just got this mullet. By accident. Well, I asked <laughs> we my talk about it. I asked my hairdresser to cut me some bangs. Girl, she did it all the way around my head. She, she cut my wait, look at how short you this said, is in you the said, back. You said Miley, hold on. Literally, I'm I said coming. I'm coming for Ooh. your brand. But I it's kind of sickening. Cause when I have the black like line on and I'm giving like, you know, snatched brow and my lips are done, I really like it. Yeah. And I and I'm, you know, like all black and like silver jewelry. It's mm. it's really a moment. But right now sitting here with you ladies and mm. with my one strip <laughs> lash kind of half hanging off, I'm feeling very much Well you smell terrific. You Thank do you, you smell oil terrific. Oil. What is that you're wearing? Um it is uh vanilla musk. It's it smells terrific. It's on Amazon girl, it's an essential oil. Oh just an oil? Essential oil. Was that twelve dollars? <laughs> Um, yeah, no, literally, it's like seventeen bucks. It's a, I, it's in my purse. It's a little roller. My friend Katie introduced me to it. She said all the strippers at her club wear it, and it's just Aww. a, it's not water based. It's like oil based, oh, so yeah. it stays on all night. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I think female strippers have better taste in affordable 
fragrances than drag queens do because the drag queens like to wear that pink sugar shit. Mary, oh, yeah. when I, I wore that shit because it's, it's cheap. What, Britney Spears something? No, it's, no, it's called pink sugar. You get it at the beauty oh, supply the stores. It. It's called pink sugar. It's about 20 bucks on sale at Marshall's too. Okay. It's like and cotton candy. I wore, I wore it for five years straight and then I graduated to like very expensive perfumes, sure. top shelf, sure. top shelf for meet and greets, right? Like I want to smell the absolute best I can. I bought it. On, I went back and looked, uh, smelled the can of pink sugar. Like the cat's ass. <laughs> it is it's disgusting. Disgu- it is disgusting. What does it smell like? Cotton candy, vanilla, maybe? Cotton candy and motor oil. Is it, it is- just because you go for like you want that feminine? You want it's, to- she's you being- need You need something strong and in, in quote unquote girly to be, do you know what I mean? The ball the, we we're in contact with people. I was dancing on people all the time. Do you know what I mean? So, and I yeah. smell like shit. It's also not perfume. Gross. It's body spray. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, this was perfume. Pink sugar. Pink sugar is eau de toilette, baby. Okay. Yeah, More it's, like belongs in the it, toilet. Yeah, it is, uh, it <laughs> Sorry. is disgusting. It yeah. belongs like, in the toilet. Have you ever stuck your nose up a cat's ass? Um, not recently. No. That's pink sugar. <gasps> that, pride when was canceled. I, when I, th- <laughs> Oh shit! That was good. That was good. No. <laughs> the beauty is any of them work. Yeah, any of them work. Really it can, but sometimes it's a read. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shade comes from reading. It's like, g- let's give it up for Brittany, who's a huge celebrity, and it's like, wah, wah, yeah. now see, that's wah. funny. That, that, that's funny. Again, <laughs> it's never not funny. funny. Yeah. What else did you learn in therapy? Say. Um. Well, it was a bunch of intros, but he definitely was like, um, "You need help." <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. And mm-hmm. um, he, it's very much behavioral therapy. CBT, so cock and ball torture. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He yes. Said, did, did he say you need to stop being up at five in the morning? No. Crimping your hair. Are you a late? You're, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're one of those people. This whore, this whore. Tell them about, yes. tell them when you're your most creative. Oh, my creativity tweaking hours are from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Sometimes tweaker. up until 6 a.m. Yes. Classic, yes. And, and she'll say 3 a.m. She say, it's time for a bang tutorial. <laughs> Oh, and she'll film a video. Shit. It is. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I'm feeling a little shamed because your your bitch ass texting me at 2 35 a.m. Yeah. Look at these that receipts. Does happen. Yes. Yeah, look at but these I'm receipts. drinking. You're working. <laughs> that's the, you know, that's what's normal. Exactly. No, it's fun. It's fun. Nobody's awake. It's just me and the universe alone. Absolutely. And I'm filming a 70s hair to sort. <laughs> yeah. You ever take a walk? A smoky eye. It's a little, maybe a little sketchy. Because I'm a woman. Oh, I never right. walk out here. You got them claws. You could scratch somebody's eyes out. Yeah. My, yeah. I had mace, but they took it at TSA. Yeah. <laughs> they took it and made me throw it away. When did you start? Because oh. you're kind of a nail claw full time gal. When did you start doing that? High school. Really? I've got man hands. Girl, I've got my dad's hands. I got ting, ting, ting. Right. And so I was like, how do I make this not? There, I mean, I'm looking right now. You have a selection of rings on, three mm-hmm. on each finger. Your, your hands are absolutely stunning and very Thank compelling. You. Thank you Beautiful. so much. Yeah, no, Beautiful. it's definitely like a mental thing of when I have my nails on, I feel very feminine. I feel very much um, helps the, the illusion. Same in, I mean, 100% in drag. Yeah, oh, when sure. I wear, especially when I wear long nails, which isn't <sighs> often, mm-hmm. but when I wear like a long nail in a video, I can't stop. Oh, that's and, it. Like, yeah. oh, I'm pointing to everything. I'm clicking. Yeah. I'm touch. I'm like, everything yes. is a hand. The, the punctuation, the elaboration, the da, 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 da. I mean, it's like, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Well, even more, and I rarely do it because what, like occasion do I have to get dressed up, but um, uh, gloves. You love to wear gloves? I, well, like for the photo shoots and all that, like gloves with rings and the nails on the gloves, yeah. thinking Juno Birch, like oh, that yeah. it's a whole a different level of fantasy. Right. Of like an thir- Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. I had 32 pairs of gloves made in matching fabric yesterday that I received. Yes, <laughs> And I am fucking, I am like nutting in my panties right now. Are they, how long? They're opera fucking length, almost oh. up to the shoulder oh, bitch. Um, I can't say. Okay. Because it was, a, you know, it was a thing. It was a, a favor. Paid? It was oh. a favor. It was, we did a favor. But yeah, I'll tell you about there. But it okay. was like, it, they, I am so It's one like, of those under the table black market glove gigs. Totally. <laughs> Drag yeah, glove totally, yeah. gigs. But there, I mean, because you can't the first find- rule of glove club, don't talk about glove club. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Hey, you- Yeah, you, listening to this. Got Bush? You definitely do if you haven't tried the best products from our sponsor today, Manscaped. After using these life-changing products, you're going to want to join a ball sack beauty contest. I'm looking out for you because I have an exclusive 20% offer for you, baby. Use the code bald at manscaped.com. Remember, when you trim the hedges, the tree stands taller. That is a truth, okay? 
These aren't just trimming products also. There's also the perfect package, which includes the Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, making sure your balls are smelling majestic before your Tinder date. You can also find the Crop Reviver Ball Toner, a spray-on, testy toner that's designed to make your balls smell irresistible. Manscaped is dedicated to helping you level up your full-body grooming game with their Perfect Package 3.0 kit. Get 20% off and free shipping when using the code BALD at manscaped.com. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for your bush trimming experience. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code BALD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com when you use the code BALD. Girl, it's 2021. Got bush? Get it all under control with Manscaped. Hi, everybody. It's Trixie Mattel. Me Undies believes that comfort is more about what's touching your skin. It's about feeling comfortable in your skin. You are a total badass, and I would know because you listen to my show. And what you wear should only accentuate that fact. That's why Me Undies not only uses a sustainable, breathable, soft as heck fabric, they also give you endless styles to choose from. It's total comfort from inside and out. Right now, I am wearing these undies from me undies that have little potatoes on them that say nugs and... Wait a minute. (laughs) I have been wearing these all day and I thought these were potatoes that say nugs and kisses, but now I understand that nugs is chicken nuggets. (laughs) Oh my god. I just like the print though. Me Undies offers classic colors or ridiculous prints. It's all so you can fully express yourself in your own unique way. Even when you're like me and you don't you don't get the joke. Me Undies are available in sizes extra small to 4XL. Never leave your couch again with a Me Undies membership, a monthly subscription that sends new pairs of undies right to your door. With site-wide savings and exclusive sales, you'll automatically pay less for everything. MeUndies has a great offer for my listeners. From any first-time purchases, you can get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with the product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. To get 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com bald. That's MeUndies.com bald. Bald. You guys, I'm wearing them now. They are extremely comfortable. And we're back. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> Would you ever go to uh, Dave and Buster's? I don't even know what that is. <gasps> Brittany and I went to Dave and Buster's once and it was really fun. Is it like Chuck E. Cheese? Yes, adult but for Chuck adults. E. Cheese. Meaning? I can go it's naked. It's Chuck E. Cheese and everyone's yeah, Everybody's bunking. titties out, dips out hard, <laughs> dripping yes. wet. Yeah, sopping yeah. pussies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slug marks on the leather yes, public yes, leather. Yes, yes. God, slip and slide slug marks. <laughs> slip and slide snail trails. <laughs> slug marks. She yeah. comes out of the ball pit and it's empty. Her pussy just <laughs> ate Come all of them. On. Oh my god! So I have to tell you guys. I watched, um, I downloaded a straight porn last night from uh, Brazzers. You ever heard of Brazzers? I have heard of Brazzers. Okay. Now, tell me about downloading well, porn. Well, this is, I've been going through um, on my iPhone. You know how like you, um, on your iPhone or whatever, you can manage your subscriptions and yeah. like often you'll sign up for something to get a free trial and you'll forget. That's yeah. what they count on. I, I had signed up for a free trial of, um, I guess, Brazzers or, or Pornhub or something mm. that I wasn't aware I was paying like $10 a month for. Jesus something Christ. Crazy, for like a year and a half. Okay. So, this is what your money's going to, people. Yeah, please support my straight porn addiction <laughs> that I green. that I visit twice a year. Yeah, I've like, been watching a lot of straight porn as well. But this, I they, I couldn't believe it. It was a squirting one. Love the squirting. They did a fake out scene like I did on my OnlyFans, where they, she they squirted a water at this dude's <gasps> face. It was a close up, no pussy. And I was like, you dirty dogs. You dirty dog ass motherfuckers. It was so comical. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. It was so over the top. I was like, you really want me to continue having this boner knowing that you are just someone's off camera with a fucking uh, turkey baster or like (laughs) or a super soaker just squirting the hell out of J Max face. They do it all the time with cum though. They'll cut to the person it's like white mayonnaise and I'm like girl that's Neutrogena. It's uh, CeraVe. (laughs) Mama that's CeraVe. 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 It's CeraVe bitch. I could not believe it. I have a question for you. Yes. Have you been famous during like a Pride Month yet? Um, no. It was, was f- virtual. It was I, virtual in 2020. Oh, okay. I hope you start to get doing Prides. Oh Girl, my God. Fun. Imagine Brittany like host, do a number. Rake it in the dough. Ain't nobody asking for me to do a number, girl. Oh, just you wait. You doing the Sam Smith version of I Feel Love. <laughs> <laughs> Two Molly's deep wearing a boa. <laughs> 
And they're like, you're, you're not even supposed to be doing a number. <laughs> yeah, you're, like, you're like, turn it down. It's all a number. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a shame. I brought my own parade float. He- yeah, headline and float. Albuquerque Pride Moment. Get ready Ooh. for it. You know, there, wa- uh, there was a gig that got canceled um, that was a radio thing. I was supposed to help in some Chicago radio station. And I was like, I don't know what y'all would want me to do. Hey, here's the next song. I'm Brittany Broski. <laughs> like, what? Do your TikTok thing. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> be funny. Dance, monkey, <laughs> yeah. dance. Okay. That is God. what it is. Yeah. I hope you get to do some prides because doing outdoor prides is, um, it's funny because it's called pride and that's exactly what you lack that day. Absolutely. When you're on no, a golf it's cart truly in the sunlight. No pride, no dignity. <laughs> it's all about shame and suffering. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been, I, I was um on um in drag in Las Vegas in the, um in the summer at noon on meth. I believe it. Can you imagine what the heat temperature of that situation was like? How long? I mean, <sighs> genu- genuinely, can you do that? It's um, hour long gigs, like hours and hours. It's like plus the meet and greet. Uh, yeah, <gasps> it's in. It, I don't know. There's a. I haven't ever. I've reached the point where it's like you just. Your body would be like, I'm leaving. You just walk away. I'll say yeah. this. Yeah. You get sweaty. You don't ever look as bad as you think you do. Well, mm. no, because and also if like, if I, like, there are times when I'm actually like on drugs, that's when it's like paranoia as well. Sure. But like, I'm always hot, always sweating. If I, if everything's fi- cool, I'm like, I know I'm probably sweating, but I like, I'm concerned about it, but it's, you know, it's not like, it's not amplified by mm-hmm. the, by the, you know, whatever. Cause mm-hmm. you know, like you get embarrassed. And then you get embarrassed about being embarrassed. Oh, yeah. And you get more embarrassed. That's so meta. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Are you a big sweater? It's Oh, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> but you know what, too, is like, yes, I'm a big sweater to the point where, like, you put deodorant under your titties. I have dre- sweat droplets down my stomach and my back. And all my friends are little skinny girls. They're little oh. skinny, tiny girls. <laughs> oh, it's a little cold in here. I'll like anemic. Literally like fucking anemic. And I'm like, Lord, I forgot my fan. <laughs> the Sea World one with the Mr. Shit. Literally, I'm like an old Southern grandmother sweating. I'm about to have a diabetic coma. Like, Normalize we're bringing pop fans into every occasion. Well, in West we're Hollywood, it's free. not too much of like, a, oh, look at her. It's like a thing but if yeah. i'm here with the mister that goes around my neck and the fan that's oh. battery operated now that i've that. been places in drag where i have the fan it's funny because drag queens have the fans because we're hot and then yeah. gays have them because they're doing what the drag queens are doing because oh, it's snatch team mama well, sis hunting but for us we're thing. like i'm seated at an air-conditioned bar sweating yeah and you guys are just like <laughs> Woo! yeah would it yeah. be crazy if we were hot <laughs> 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 Wearing the two inches of jersey fabric covering half a nipple. Yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Off. Whole prolapsed with a few <laughs> ice cubes shoved in it. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. The Fuck other the right other, off. the other day it was uh, we <laughs> started filming at World of Wonder again, and I tell you they went they had that bitch like a fucking Minneapolis meat lo- like I locker. Loved it. It, it was, was good. It was incredible. Well, they I, should know by now. I yeah, think, they do know. I yeah. think they've upgraded their air a little bit. They had to because I, I was like, oh my God, like my lips are going to turn blue in a minute. I am like having an orgasm. It was oh, so fantastic. Good, it was so Still sweated the house nice. down. Really? Yeah, of course. Is part of it like a performance anxiety, but the good kind of anxiety? No, no. Absolutely not. Hot? It's just like I'm wearing those... two snowsuits and a fucking fur hat. True. Yeah, because you know? she will, she'll dab the face and so mm-hmm. she doesn't appear sweaty. And then when she takes the costume off, it's fucking Sniper macaroni balls. in a pot, bitch. Yes. Like, <laughs> it sounds like, it sounds like, ah! <laughs> like her, when she takes the costume off and she drops it, it sounds like a fucking octopus hitting the ground. Like, <laughs> Like, sit, like she, I'm serious. You could take a costume off and fling it at the wall like spaghetti, and it would stick. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could, I could throw that thing into the desert, and then fucking like trees would grow. It is like so, it's so sick. It's disgusting. Tell, tell her what you used to do when we used to do clubs. Tell her what you used to do overnight with your costumes. Oh, Mary, I would have to like every single thing would have to be aired out. Like every single thing. My, I could ring out. I know this is gross. I could wring out my undergarments and they would, yeah. like I jumped into a pool. Like I jumped into a pool and I, there was only, I mean, she knows about it. There's a, there's a bar called Oil Can Harry's in uh, Austin, Texas. They, we could walk into, they had a walk-in freezer right by the dressing room. I dream right about by that. The, I dream about it's it too. Nice. It was it's nice. relief. If you're hot coming it's off relief. stage and you walk into, you're surrounded by beer bottles and just oh, loud, wow. isolated, like, like that's, 10 yeah. degrees. That's the happy oh. place. Yeah. Because you have to go out through outside in the Texas heat, you know, it's summertime. Um, yeah. Thank um, you. you have to go through the outside to get to the stage and it's never, you know, it's packed, whatever. And it's just like, it is so horrible, but they, I, every place should have like a, 
a walk-in freezer everywhere, everywhere. Texas heat is like the seventh layer of hell. Yeah. It is like unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And moving out here, I was like, this people live like this where it's nice. It's <laughs> so nice here. Yes. And it's yeah. like 78 every day. Yeah. It's insane. It's incredible. And it's also like for, you know, people who want to do like, you know, the scarves and the jackets and stuff, you know, spring has like, you know, goes, mm. gets very cold and whatever. Oh, yeah. Where are you from originally? Texas. Which part, which city? Houston and Dallas. I've got family in both Houston places. and Dallas. Which do you, you ever prefer? go down to S4? I do go down to S4 and Roundup. I miss Roundup. I love Roundup. Oh my God. We have to do Roundup sometime. <laughs> Brittany I and Trixie, we have to host Roundup. You can come. What? <laughs> Maybe, girl. We're, is, we'll secure you a ticket. Wait, what's the Roundup? Is Dallas? Roundup, Gay yeah. Cowboy Bar. Well, because Dallas. Wait, that's where I went the pad, the pad. I was in a pageant. You pulled there. the badge. I was in a pageant at the Roundup. Really? <laughs> the it's a gay up. cowboy bar. I know. It's so cute. Oh, I know. Did they have the like? Were you, you dancing the, at the um, page? They have like a balcony area. Yeah. You can see. Yeah, that's the roundup. Yeah, yeah. Miss Gay, Miss Gay, uh, whatever, whatever, at least at large or something was there. Love that. Yeah, yeah S four is fun too, but that's more like. <laughs> yeah, that's Circuit Boys. Yeah. So d- I like Dallas, uh, Houston. I have the Houston gay scene is very different. Um, it's a little messy. JR, Every, uh, South Beach, JR's Houston, JRs. Go down oh. to JRs. Yeah, JRs. It's very. Um, you have been to South Beach? No, I haven't. Oh, you can't. Okay, no, no, South Beach, Houston. No. That, that must no, be okay. part of why you love drag so much. Because I bet you the Texas gays gave you a very early. But you know exposure. what? Like, I think y'all forget. I just turned like twenty three. Like I, the what time. What the fuck? Yes, the time, the amount of time that I've gone to like gay bars. You're not allowed in. I'm I was twice 21. your age. Yeah, you're twenty three. Wow. And we're so similar. So similar. Yeah, yeah, I could be your father or grandfather. <laughs> yeah. Um. So but it's it's very much you know like um. In high school, I was not going out. I've always kind of, you know, I've had gay friends. It's all I've like ever had. I've never really had straight man friends. But mm-hmm. when I started going out, when I was like legal, um, I was internet famous. So it's very different. Oh. I've never you had. Never had it. No. Thank, well, thank God, because it sucks. But it's so fun. No, 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 no. People don't tell you this. This is gauche. It's so much more fun to go to the gay bars when you're famous. No, uh, you get special treatment. You get special seating, special drinks, how special about, everything. How about perf- how about this? Performing at a nightclub at a new like the the ns, ns, ns nightclub when you're a freak and uh, not not on Drag Race, not famous. People look at you like like look at that freak. Look at that really? fucking freak. Oh yeah. Oh, it's Make rotten. forty dollars. Just show two up years in later. Drag? No, no, no. Like do it a guest spot number. People don't give you the time of day. Two years later, you've been on Drag Race. Fucking panties flying through the air. Screaming, 20s, dying. 20s, 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 screaming. Rooms are on the block. Yeah. I saw Kennedy Davenport at S4. Icon. Um, Before Drag Race? No, it was oh, yeah. like, well, what season was she? was on y'all's Seven, season? yeah. yeah. Mm, in All-Stars I three. saw her probably 2019. Yeah, this was after Drag Race. Yes, yeah. so, and she, girl, it was. She's fucking wild. It was everything. And she's the Dallas dancing diva she of Dallas, sure Texas. Is. So it was dancing everything. The 12 toes. dancing toes. <laughs> yes, it was very fun. But um, it was like I got mobbed. So it was fun, but we had to be like, all right, Kennedy. Okay, now we're going to go. Yeah. Because it, I mean, and drunk gays. I love the drunk gays, but oh my God, girl, I'm trying to have fun. And you're yeah. like breathing in my mouth hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we yeah. take a picture? Yeah. Here's follow me on Instagram. Yeah. And I'm drunk, so I'm giving my phone out. I follow so many just random <laughs> texts and gays oh on my, my Instagram. God. And I'm sure to this day, they're like, you know, she follows me on Instagram. <laughs> I don't remember who you are. It's I in their bio. When people, blacked out. <laughs> when people tell me to follow them. For what? Yeah, reason said, people go you should follow me i've had people on grinder go you should follow me and i say nothing and then a day later they're like question mark i'm like yeah i'm not following you <laughs> like, i don't understand why though get why real would do that why would i oh because of the cultural cred to your friends and stuff right or whatever i don't why would fucking you? britney follows me got it oh yeah i right. guess well I don't act, know. yeah acting like we're besties or something it's like i don't know you girl I've well i've been the biggest once. wingman like I, and you know, P-Town, Prov- have you ever been in Provincetown, Massachusetts? Mm-hmm. It's, oh. a gay, it's a gay resort town on the coast. And you like, would love it. It's yeah. fabulous. Yeah. And I've, the amount of times Messy. that I've told people that Messy. they've gotten laid because they've been wearing my shirt. Uh-uh. Uh, I mean, so many times. Was the person also hot? Huh? Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> no, no, all types. How though. gross. Like twinks. Bear, you know, all the whole spectrum of gay. Yeah, honestly. Well, if it's a good, like, icebreaker, at least. That's some what I'm guy, saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I that's, love that. Like, that's always been, I've, dozens of times, honestly. It's, I think that's so cool. That's worth it. Better than yeah. my technique, which is standing in the middle of the gay bar holding my soft dick going, <laughs> Someone! It can't Someone get hard! Anybody! It can't get hard unless you hit me! Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, I love I love that you're 23. That's cool. You're 23. Talk about that. <laughs> Every interview I've How ever did had. You do you're it. kombucha girl. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm okay. But I imagine that because of the the viral nature of your fame, 
I bet people feel like they can cross boundaries with you that they yes. perhaps wouldn't with Julia Roberts, let's say. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah. I, I had a, an academic intellectual discourse about this on my Instagram <laughs> the other day about um, I'm not respected right. as not only a comedian, not only as a woman, but just as a person because I'm an internet personality and i'm sure y'all feel that a little bit too of like you're uh, well well, because you're recognized professionally for what you do because you are professionals at what you do but it's like you it's a joke like Mm. your profession is you know to a certain extent a joke and so is mine so Mm. it's like that respect that i think that i deserve as a human being i'm not afforded so like when people message me hey you fat bitch a mortgage lending is not a (laughs) sorry and i accept your apology you come on the pod today yes Yes. and you said yes you fat bitch i don't know why you messaged me from user 4050609 though well that's my main account (laughs) trixie mattel's my burner (laughs) also i'm a little resentful mortgage lending is not a joke i never said it was girl you're taking words out of my mouth (laughs) (laughs) you know i used to work in insurance did you really i worked at an insurance brokerage Get out of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, I, I, I worked at a bank for a while. Did you have to wear like uh, nylons? Did just you wear, business casual. Ju- but just nylons. <laughs> just nylons. Which is no such top. a good look. That is such <laughs> no a good top, look. just nipple piercings. And oh my God. I, do you, is it, uh, could you to like, for whatever reason, if you decided to just like ditch the whole like internet comedy thing, YouTube, mm-hmm. everything, could you go back to um, some kind of professional anonymous life and, and find some kind of fulfillment? I'd kill myself. <laughs> No, tell him the story. Oh my God. Tell him the Perfect. story. Did you hear my throat just now? Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> you make so many horrible sounds when you come. To- she comes to my house and she belches like she lives here. I love that. And you know Thank how you. I feel about body noises. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My Your boy- editor, he says shit up. Oh, Loves they it. love it, and I always yep. they never cut it out. But tell him the story of what they said to you at work when you got accidentally internet famous. Oh well, I approached my boss and I was like, sweet fifty nine year old Southern lady, mm-hmm. um, didn't know what YouTube was, and I was like, okay, I'm safe. I brought it to. And I was like, this is like, me. It's like Pornhub. She's like, oh. She's like, God, I got it. Yeah. Um, I was like, this is me. Uh-huh. This is the meme. I created this, but people are taking it and making other memes out of it. So when you see me when I ate ass for the first time, it's not little Christian <laughs> girl me. It's somebody else. And she was like, no, okay. that, that's actually, I can understand. That's a really good, helpful and in, in explanation because I could see how that would be misconstrued. Sure. That it's yeah. me posting Absolutely. all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so I told her and she was like, all right. And then a few weeks later, she brought me in and she was like, you need to decide if you want to be a corporate professional and keep paying your rent or or you want to be or eat ass and me when I tasted cum for the first time on the (laughs) internet. And I was like, well, girl, of course I want to be a corporate professional. Um, But a few weeks later, she was like, I found your YouTube, your TikTok, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Snapchat. She found everything. She was Miss Sleuth. Wow. (gasps) And um, yeah. Yes. What's her name? Nancy. uh, uh, Grace. Nancy Grace, Nancy Grace. I yeah. found your Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. it was mutilated so. bodies, mutilated. <laughs> Literally, yeah. um, and it was humiliating because I was posting makeup tutorials at the time, and I was, you know, and she was like, "You use very nasty language." It was humiliating. My oh, boss wow. talking to me yeah. like that, and I was like, "Okay." And then a few days later, I got fired. She was like, but she put the reason as I was on my phone too much. Which technically, she's absolutely right. You're on everybody's phone too much. Exactly. Yes. And she was punishing me for it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, a week later, I got my first brand deal and it's been, you know, like this ever since. Yeah. So Fuck you, Nancy. Fuck the you Lord haters. provides. <laughs> the, I, was, I was fired from Mac and then whenever I would go back to Milwaukee, I would go back to that Mac store and I would Big mistake. buy so much shit. Oh, you, I was going to say, oh. just browsing. I know I would buy a lot and I'll buy a lot from every single person I worked with separately. So they oh, all had yeah, good the sales. Commission. That's Aww. nice. But I was like, I could buy, you know, I could afford makeup now. So yeah. there. Yeah. Why'd you get fired? Uh, they thought I was stealing. Mm. Same for me. And I wasn't. I went on You're to steal kidding. later, but yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> hard. Separate You've been falsely accused of something. It's very frustrating. Oh yeah. yeah I just yeah. think it's funny that they said, Frankly, I also think it's a little anti-women. That th- you, have, you have to imagine if what happened to you happened to a man at that company, I don't think the fallout would have been as swift. You need to be a p- corporate professional with no sense of humor 
or delete your accounts. Like that's crazy. It is crazy. It's and it's an invasion of my privacy. Ab- yes. Yes. Absolutely. It's your personal it life. But I'm not going to go up to my boss and be like, fuck you. You're, you know, th- you're crossing a line between professional and personal. I was going to, I literally was like, I have to pay my rent. I'll do yeah. whatever I have to do. Yeah. But you're very right. If it would have been a funny man and he could a little, you know, oh. witty charisma chatted his way out of it. That would have yep. been a totally different thing. Yeah. They would have used him to promote the fucking bank, probably. Yeah, he'd be out on Girl. the... Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we know... Dry, I know Karen from Finance had a deal where she was the face of, like, an Australian bank during Pride Month. See, that's hilarious wow. and, and, like, so smart. Wow. But it's like... She's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I hope an insurance company scoops you up sometimes and you're like, listen, they, I've worked in insurance and yeah. I can tell you exactly how this goes. Liberty yeah, yeah, Mutual, yeah. are you hearing this? Yeah. Uh, My liber- contact liber- info is... Liberina. <laughs> Liberina. Hi, it's Trixie, and let's face it, taking trips to the post office is probably not how you want to spend your time, okay? That's why I recommend mailing and shipping online at Stamps.com. Stamps.com allows you to mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, and pay a lot less with discounted rates from USPS, UPS, and more. Stamps.com has saved businesses thousands of hours and tons of money. With Stamps.com, you get the services of the post office and UPS all in one place, plus huge discounts and reduced shipping rates. I'm just going to say it. I'm even somebody who still pays all their bills by mail. I use a stamp. It helps me remember if I've paid something. I know that that's unusual, but I am somebody who goes to the post office a lot, okay? Stamps.com brings services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. Simply use your computer to print official U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send. Once your mail's ready, just schedule a pickup or drop it off. It's extremely simple. Look, I hate driving, so Stamps.com is perfect. I can ship my merch and buy postage right from home without ever leaving the house. It's amazing. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving you time and money. It's no wonder nearly 1 million small businesses already use Stamps.com. Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk, and with my promo code BALD, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in BALD. That's Stamps.com, promo code BALD. Stamps.com, never go to the post office again. Hello, dear listeners. I wonder if I could take just a few moments of your time to express to you in clear, plain language a particular change that has occurred in my life. Oh, I'm not talking about diet or exercise. No, I'm not talking about true love or forgiveness. I'm talking about something much more important, much deeper, something more durable, lasting. It's Canva Pro. Oh, well, what is it you're asking? Oh, I'm here to tell you, baby. Canva Pro is an easy-to-use design platform that has everything you need to design like a pro. Now, whether you're a professional designer or just getting started, oh, (laughs) they're there to help boost you and your team's productivity and creativity into the next level of design excellence. It doesn't matter what you're creating or sharing. They have got everything you need in one place, including a collection of over 75 million premium photos, videos, audio, and graphics. Plus, Canva Pro comes with time-saving tools that simplify and speed up that creative process. Ah, the speed, the alacrity, the efficiency, it's top-notch. What I love about Canva Pro, well, I don't have enough time to tell you everything, but I'll just focus on a few bullet points. Oh, it's the quick fix background tool or the magic resize tool in a click of a button in a flash. I go from large format to muy pequeño, and it's all so magical. Oh, God. Now, I know that there are many of you out there 
who would benefit greatly from this fantastic application. So please don't delay. Don't delay. Sign up now. The membership is so reasonable. I can't even tell you how reasonable. It's just, it's almost like highway robbery where you are the robber and the world is the benefactor benefiting from all your incredible designs, all your efficient, productive output just splashed all over the screens of millions worldwide. So please, what are you waiting for? Design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you use my promo code. Just go to canva.me slash bald to get your free 45-day extended trial. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash bald. Canva dot me slash Bald. We are ending towards the end of the podcast. Aww. Uh, 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 I thought uh, I would uh, give you guys a moment to talk about Bimini. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I need to ask you. I need to know. Do you know about Bimini Bon Boulash? Have you heard the good news? I, it's Bimini Bon the, Boulash, babes. You know what I mean? Two Bonds in the Bimini don't make a Boulash, but guess what? <laughs> If you, you make a goulash. <laughs> I fucking, so my appreciation for her started out as a joke. Um, really? Well, Explain. No, not as a joke. It only, it was shallow appreciation because sure. I, I said, Bimini Bon Boulash, are you kidding me? That's the fucking best name I've ever heard in my life. It makes no sense. And I do not want to know the origin story of okay. the name. And then over the weeks, I'm like, I fucking love her. Yeah. And then now I'm obsessed with her. Oh no. It, for me, I was like, oh, she's going home. Oh, when I saw filler. the tape, when I saw her fucking tuck tape on the first episode and I was like, yeah. really girl, it's yep. RuPaul's Drag Race. Put yeah. your fucking tuck away. Do that messy, like <laughs> messy, like, yeah. Messy and filler, yeah. She, it was like, that was her one blip and it has been just uphill ever yeah. since. And it is so, oh my God, I'm thinking about all of her individual looks. And I think she's safe every week. And I think that's her secret weapon because she's about to pull it out, bitch. Her well, amoeba look when she oh, came out with those stunning. white contact lenses. Speaking of safe, did you just see the uh, safety pin wi uh, wig yes! she just put? It's incredible. Yes! 10,000 safety pins. Safety period. pin wig? Yeah. It's, an, it's so oh, fierce. It's she's so such fierce. a visionary. Cool. She's so great. And she's not pretentious. She's not She's not trying to peddle catchphrases. Mm -mm. She's not. She just like being herself and yes. like. She's and vibing. She's vibing. Purely. Just good vibes only. She's vibing. She's vibing vibes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> No, literally, I feel like it, I that's a that's a perfect explanation. Is she is so there for the art form? Yeah, it she, is an art to her, yeah. and and it's very evident. And but she, it's not protect. It's not like her. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, and it's very much. I mean, you can tell that she loves. She loves yeah. the dancing and the rapping and the. Yeah. Release the beast, Bimini! Yeah, she's Are silly, she's silly me San Sulash, and she's gonna Wimini Wan Woolash. To the you, end. Yeah, I hope you get to judge Drag Race someday. Oh, it would be so like great. Maybe or they coach could do a some, challenge or something. Yeah, like some kind of like mini challenge for socials or something. Yeah. Like How fun. creating social content. How fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you'd be or, great on the judging panel. If you as did well. UK, would you do an accent? Um, I would come in full Adele cosplay. Oh, that would be great. Just please don't say, hello, governor. <laughs> My God. Do, yeah, do you think British people love it when RuPaul does like these super crazy, no. like. I think they're, they're giggling and Googling because they don't want to be sent home. <laughs> when she comes in and says, When he walks hello, in and is like, hello, mate. Are they like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I'm still funny after all these episodes. You know, I'm like, telling you, I know for a fact it is the, I'm trying to think of the American equivalent. Is it like when Michelle wears Union Jack earrings? It's, no, no, no. It's <laughs> way worse than that. It's way worse than that. I love that. you, Michelle, but it is crap. When Michelle walks into Big Brother UK. And she's basically in a Jerry Spice dress. Yes. <laughs> yes. With Union Jack. Yeah, talking about sausage and she's rolls like, and the tube. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. She's like, the time tube. off the tube. Sausage rolls. Yeah, it's like, it, okay. But Rue doesn't know anything. And then Except that's one phrase. One phrase, hello, governor. That's like, I but mean, you it's know what's so, so funny is like, to say that, but like, they know more than, Rue and Michelle combined know more about British culture than fucking I do. And that's like supposed to be my thing. <laughs> yeah. They're talking about in 1981, do you remember this chart topper of the UK? I'm like, girl. Well, yeah, I mean, Rue is Rain Man with, with pop music. Absolutely. So I mean, she'll tell you, the, you know, what ch chart at the top, whatever. I try to think of like, do you get offended when people do like a country accent? No, I mean. But you're not country. I'm not Southern. But that's Derek. But I mean. 
I mean, I guess. I, when get, I watched Barb and Star, I was like, these aren't Midwest accents. I get, didn't think they were good. Do you get yeah. offended when adults walk in with shitty diapers? Well, see, that's my culture. <laughs> <laughs> what would offend you? We're white. We can't get offended by nothing. Come on. No, I can't tr- truly like, get imagine offended. Imagine if um, Alan Carr came here and he walked up to tables in American Drag Race with like a, a, a bag of McDonald's and a gun. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I'm uneducated and hate people. You know, like yeah. that would be like, Y'all okay. about to be racist and uh, <laughs> y'all ready for a deeply divided economy <laughs> built so that the rich can stay completely separated from the poor. <laughs> Yeah, everybody like a broken system? Say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Go. Who's getting <laughs> ready to gentrify? <laughs> you had those locked and loaded. Uh, yeah. You've been waiting to say that, <laughs> rehearsing it in the mirror. Just all the things I hate about America that yes. I think about a lot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I have a couple more questions before you go. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for All the way me. down the street. It uh, took so long to get here. Uh, <laughs> um, who are your beauty icons? Who just makes you want to get up and do the thing? To do the damn thing, Dolly. Amy Winehouse. Um, Dolly Levi? With this. Or Dolly Parton? <laughs> Dolly Parton. Okay. Dolly the sheep. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> the genetically engineered yes, sheep. The cloned sheep. That's yeah. your drag name, Dolly the genetically engineered <laughs> yeah. sheep. Sexy and scientific, baby. <laughs> yes. You want to shear this pussy? You want to shear this pussy? <laughs> Okay. Mom, I'm so sorry uh, if you're listening. <laughs> oh, please. We said it, not her. Yeah. She um, was horrified. But yes, I love, you know what What my, my uh, how about this, Gagiana? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> jail. jail. Sorry, the police just arrived. Federal, yeah. federal prison. Federal prison. Federal prison. Yeah, yeah, federal prison. Um, a beauty mark. The police. I love a beauty mark. I love a boop, boop, mm-hmm. boop. I think it's so cute. And I love when queens incorporate that into their look. It's like, yes. Because it's art, but it's also like a real face. Yeah. A mole or a freckle. I learned from, this is not a read, Shay used to have difficult like skin when we were mm-hmm. doing drag. And she taught me when you have like a pimple, you just put like a little, yeah. and now it's a birthmark in drag. I was it's like, so cute. oh my yeah. God. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just put my rosacea. I just make it like a port wine stain. Oh, I wanted to ask you this yeah. earlier. Is it rosacea or is it psoriasis or eczema? It's psoriasis. Okay. Because yeah. I have eczema. I yeah I I family genes actually when I was fired um the only time I had I was just coming from the dermatologist and I they it was uh, psoriasis I was shocked though because usually mm. psoriasis is pretty like it's a nuisance to say the least yeah. but I have a it's light it's just Kim uh, Kardashian has psoriasis I know well, I, I have that lymphoma. how about that yeah <laughs> <laughs> you feel a little left out yeah how about that yeah. <laughs> but it's on my face like you the, you can't see it around my asshole which is right. fine but like it's all on yeah when yeah. it's on my face it's a problem girl over the summer I had um, acute dishydrotic eczema <laughs> oh <laughs> you should kill yourself the fingers, the fingers? <gasps> how do you know that is it yes. little bubbles yes acute yeah, how do you dishydro- know that dishydrotic dishydrotic it was these little bubbles on my trigger warning I guess on my hands that were they would explode and they itched and burned like I've a got, motherfucker I've gotten them before yes and wow. they and they it transfers between fingers it's oh. fucking disgusting. Is it like poison ivy kind of? or, or It's like teeny poison? little clear bubbles That's, on your skin. I'm going to throw up and all over painful you. painful and gross. Oh, and that they, they sucks. itch. That's, yes. It's, you're sure it's not poison ivy? No, it was and acute they, dishydrotic eczema and, and I had they, an ointment. Love yourselves. Yeah. Brittany, where can people find you? You can find me at Brittany underscore Broski. Would you please spell that? B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y mm-hmm. underscore B-R-O-S-K-I. Mm-hmm. You sure can. And you can check out your new podcast, The Official TikTok yes, podcast. please check out, um, it's called the For You Podcast, the official TikTok podcast. We interview guests every week talking about their experiences on TikTok, how it's affecting change, affecting culture, and it's a good old time. Come check us out. Will you please have the dream team on in, in Russia? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what type of content do they make? Can you describe it in two words? Uh, a hit, hit song. <laughs> hit song. I'll play it for you. It's a fucking bop. Really? Yes. They make music? Yes. Or they dance to me? Oh. No, mama. Hit song. Okay, period. Okay, yeah. A song to get hit to. Yeah. It's it's called um Partying Wildly. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> okay. Brittany, I love you. I love you. I, you're one of my best friends. Isn't that I'm sad? Song. It's uh, not. Sad. Can I uh, my heart still flutters a little bit when you text me, hey bitch. <laughs> she say, What are you doing, bitch? I'll, I'll be like, like hey. What are you doing right now, cunt? <laughs> I'm like, I'm naked in my bed, yeah. crying. Get those claws out of your pussy and come over here and hang out. Yeah. I'll text her a drop of a hat like, can we just go out right now? And she's like, I'm literally in the middle of working. And I'm like, ugh, you never make an effort. But if I get the whim to go out and she doesn't say yes, I'm like, this fucking friendship is so one-sided. 
Will the abuse ever stop? No. No, it won't. Thank God. Stay tuned. Goodbye. Bye.